Hi everybody, quick update for you on caging these queens. Uh, there's been 24 days today, I think, on this apiary since I did that video and showed you how I cage my queens. Now I'm releasing the queens. I'm gonna come along in the next two or three days and treat with um, vaporized oxalic acid. I've just had a look at a few, a couple are a little bit small. You've gotta be critically careful with your days because don't forget, if you've taken a split, <laughs> And if you're leaving those, that queen not laying, the clock is ticking. So you've got to be absolutely bang on because as soon as you release the queen, she starts laying and the colony will start to grow, but not for 24 days. Because obviously it can take that long before the first piece be, to be born. But initially it looks really good. I'm really chuffed. It's quite freaky. You go to a colony and there's no brood at all in the frames. It's just empty and it's wonderful because that is your brood break. That's what you need to treat your varroa against. It's what you get in the winter, we don't get in the summer. So let's have a look. So what I do when I come to take my honey off, I usually have a quick little, bit, little look in the top. I've got plenty of bees in there still. There's a little bit of honey in the top one. So we'll lift this super off, but I leave the plastic on because this seal keeps my bees from being robbed. And also once you've taken the bees off, once to put your, um, your queen in the cage, it's a lot easier second time around to lift it off. A little bit of honey there, maybe five kilos, not a lot. A little bit more in the super next. But it's a rubbish year, you know? So there's a little bit in that one as well. Let's try and show you this. I've got no tripod with me. It's got a nice lot of bees in this colony still. This is exactly what I love. So, they're actually being nice to bees, but I'm just going to clear them down. So there's my cage, easy to spot. There's the holder. Let's lift this cage out. Look at that. Absolutely no brood. How bizarre is that, huh? Okay, this is a bit of a drony frame. There's some drone built in the middle, but not as in, there's nothing laying. So where's my queen? I haven't seen this frame before. The queen is inside. Let's see if we can see her wandering around. Yes, I can see her there. There she is. Some big ass queen in there. She still looks really healthy, which is really good. Just gonna hold the camera here so maybe you'll see her. Where's she gone now? Very difficult to spot her because there's a lot of other bees with her. All we do is we undo the door and leave it open and she will come out and stare. She is at the back at the top, marked blue. There she is there at the top. So we leave the cage open, put this back in. The brood break is done. You have to be sure you don't close the cage again when you put the frame back in. But now I'm, I'm at the same time, I'm putting my bee escape on. Don't forget, I did take a noop from this. There's a few less bees in there. So my bee escape is going to go back on and the bees that are in the supers will now reinforce that colony that's a little bit weaker. So when I come along and treat it for mites in a very short space of time, in other words, the next two or three days, and I may do it again before the first cells get capped over. And that's the key is the second treatment. If I can do it then, but I'll get most of the mites with one hit because um, there's no mites other than phoretic mites and that's the key to this treatment using this cage it's absolute no-brainer but you've got to be precise if you get a colony that's a little bit weak you can't do it because you've got to rely on the lots of young bees hatching and then enough bees to carry that colony over while it has that period of convalescence when it's not doing anything and as i and as I did say before, you've got to just know what you're doing. You can't just play around with this. This is all or nothing treatment. It's a big step. I've lost a few sleepless nights about this, I can tell you, because there's, everything is on the line with this treatment, but I haven't used Amitraz. And overall, it will affect all my colonies because they all had a brood break. And even without treating, you will have some effect of the Varroa not being able to reproduce. It's, it's exactly like they were swarming, but if you can 
get the treatment in times right i've got another apiary to do tomorrow morning as well let's treat that as well as pull the honey but that one's i'm two days late on that but that's my fault but the weather's kind to us and the other thing is there's no real asian hornet problem this year that we've seen at all so there's less pressure on the colonies even though the colonies are dwindling because the queens are caged you just have to remember that and all my colonies have doors on the front except this one and um, they've all got doors like this on and i've got some more doors to put on these so i make sure that there's no stress on any colony those ones have got it Incidentally, these are the two that are artificially swarmed from down the bottom, right down there where my nukes are. So they're great, they're full of bees. And if I need a little bit of brood, but you've got to remember if you take brood from another colony that isn't treated, you are technically topping up that colony with, with Varroa again. And it's the kind of thing you've got to get in your head that you can't take brood from anywhere else. Those hives, are going, those two there are going to have to be treated three times every six days to make sure I get their mite numbers down. Whereas this lot will just be treated once and that will be enough. It's all about your timings and knowing what you're doing. Anyway, I'm excited by this. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've got a little bit of honey to extract here. That will back, go back on now. And then I'll pull that off probably in tomorrow evening if I can get my timing right. Cause I want to do- That's just a little update for you. It's all good news. Um, I'm really filled with uh, excitement about this treatment. And I'll update you further when I see the results.